this is happening. I am ridiculously excited about this opportunity. I have my good friend, Marshall Atkinson. You probably know him from Atkinson Consulting or from Shirt Lab. Uh, he is one of the co-founders of the Shirt Lab tribe. And he is a general, uh, just an all around great guy, wealth of information. And Marshall, I'm so lucky to have you because of your time tested willingness to be a rebel and a renegade and push the, push the ball forward as it relates to AI and specifically uh, the graphic, the, the use of graphics in AI. And I can't wait for you to dive in and tell us more about mid journey. So the purpose of us getting together today was kind of a question that you threw at me. Hey, what are the chances, Jay, that we could create some really cool graphics in mid journey and then we could print them on one of your cool DTG or DTF printers. And I was like, the chances are really high, Marshall, but let's do it. So we're going to do that today. I'm so excited. Yeah, we're going to do everything all in one, right? So uh, we're going to create something and uh, that's never been created before. Nope. And then we're going to use digital technology to get it on a garment. And uh, so why is this relevant? Because we're all about relevancy, right? This is relevant because this is something you can be doing right now in your shop. And I want you to learn the easy, it's so easy, the so easy way of doing stuff, right? Not the, oh, I got to struggle and I'm a crappy artist and I got to go steal something from Pinterest and all that stuff that was so last Wait, year. People do that? People steal things from Google and Pinterest? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do it all the time, right? So Not here, but, not in our shop. We're going to create some new stuff, right? And so show us how I think Marshall. the best thing to start though is just what is what is mid journey, right? Let's just start with that, right? Is that okay? Yeah, perfect. That's a that's a great place to start. What is mid journey, Marshall? Okay, so mid journey, I'm glad you asked Jay. Mid <laughs> mid journey is a uh AI image creator tool, right? So and uh, there's a lot of misconceptions and little myths about it and that kind of stuff. And so that's another reason why I wanted to get on here was to talk about it. And and I'm seriously deep into this stuff and I've been for about a year. OK, it's only been it's been out a relatively short period of time. I was just right? about to ask you, has it even been out a year now? It's, a uh, it's been out a little over a year, but uh, I would say February of 2023 is when I started playing with it. And by March, I was like, uh, I was Addicted. like, give me my mid journey fix. I need it today. <laughs> you know, that's what was really happening. Right. And it's and, and it's because why? Right. And a lot of people know me as the workflow guy and the operations guy, how to yeah. price or market or whatever. But they don't really realize my roots in this industry all come from being an art director for 14 years. And I had to create the best t shirt anybody's ever seen a dozen times a day. Marshall, okay. I want you to make me a tiger that's fierce, but not too fierce. Yeah. Yeah. That has stripes, but not too many stripes. Yeah. Exactly. Forever. Right. And so, I had all types of little tricks and stuff back then, right? If I had this tool, I would have really ruled, right? Not that yes. I didn't have a good career. I'm just telling you it would have been way easier, okay? So I want you guys to learn this stuff, which is why I'm really happy Jay invited me to help out, right? So um, I think that the really kind of think about this is I want you to understand what mid-journey is. First off, it is not copy and paste. It's not stealing somebody's idea. So just get that out of your head. How it works is it starts off with random noise. And the tool has been trained. So it's an LLM tool, which is a large language model. It's been tool, it's been trained on billions and gazillions and trillions of images out there that hang out on the internet. So there's a picture of the dog or what is the color blue or that's a cloud or whatever and an image to text pair. So that dog, that color blue, the cloud, it, it's, it's associated with that picture, right? So if you just think of clouds, for example, Jay, how many cloud images do you think there are on the internet right now? A million more. I don't know. A million is way more than that, right? Type in cloud into Google and hit image and how many images come back, right? Oh, yeah. It, it would tell you. It's like 10 million it, images. It, it's seconds. just amazing, right? Yeah. So it, it's trained on this stuff. What it doesn't know 
is, you know, the pony that you had in your backyard last year, it doesn't have any reference to that. It's not going to know what Clarabelle looks like. Okay. So just skip that. It needs tons of information to work. And what it does is it uses words to make the image. And it can make really any image. It can make a photograph. It can make a graphic. It can make a painting, it can make sculpture, like a, a 2D image of a 3D thing. It can make lots of stuff, but it needs words to work because that's how it works. We're used to designing with, you know, we know what the pen tool is and the text tool and the box tool and the color picker thing, right? We know all that because that's what we use in Photoshop and Illustrator and we're comfortable with it. As right. artists, it's words this is going to work with. And so mm-hmm. how good's your vocabulary, Ooh. right? Do, do you have a good vocabulary? And a lot of times people really struggle with using a tool like this is because what's another word for what? Uh, what Insert your thing here. They don't know, right? Or we need a more specific word. So when you say dog and you're expecting a golden retriever and you get a bulldog, it's because you didn't use the right words. OK, yeah, so we sense. really need the correct words to get the correct outcome. And that's the trick is using correct words. And a lot of times the best result in mid journey is using things that aren't really obvious, which is why you have to constantly play with it. And I've really kind of spent a lot of time doing this stuff, which is how I think I'm in a really good position to teach. So well, that's why we have you here. So show us, <laughs> teach us, obi So. Are, are you want a you want a quick little tour and then we'll yes. get into some real life stuff that we're gonna print. Okay. Yes, please. That's exactly okay. what we hope to do. Today. Right. So I'm gonna hit share screen. And no comment on my amazing California bear, which we created as original artwork. Come on, Marshall. I was I wore this. No, no you. comment. All right. No comment. All right. <laughs> I can't even see you now because I'm off doing mid journey stuff. Okay. So he's he's deep into mid journey. He said Yeah, yeah. All right. Can you see my screen? Just check. I can. Yep. All right. Good. So mid journey right now lives on what's called discord and discord is kind of a chat group thing. Okay. Let me just make this full screen chat group thing. Okay. And if you're to join mid journey right now, you would have to use discord. In fact, here is the official mid journey site and you would probably be in a newbie group. That's where everybody goes. Oh, speaking of bears, look, somebody's making yeah, bears today. Yeah, see, it was me. No. And so here's what I'm talking about is you have to use words to get oh, back what so you you're want. Like, you're like prompting it. You're telling it what to create. Is that you're right? You're telling it what to create. Now, okay. there's a lot of crazy people creating all types of nutty things here. Now, okay? Before you and scroll too far, is there anything that's going to be like rated r or rated x because we don't want to no, no well they have a they 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 have a lot of governors in place okay they don't allow gore they don't allow nudity they don't allow profanity they don't they, so you'll get a little message back that says hey buddy quit that or we'll kick you off okay okay, okay. so i think there's um, a lot of like 14 year olds trying to you know yeah there's all, all you know in mid journey i'll mention it used to be free back when they started and then uh, they they've got to got to pay for it now. The uh, rate is a real reasonable ten bucks a month. You mm-hmm. know it's pretty easy. Okay. So you probably spend more a week at Starbucks than what this costs. Um, I actually have the super duper crazy plan, so I spend a lot more than that. And but I want to kind of just show you what this is. And yeah, that's uh, cool. But it as soon you're going to realize you don't want to play with all the kids in the sandbox because they're weird and they pick their nose and stuff. You're going to want your own server, which is what I have here. This uh, is my okay. server. I get it. Right. Yep. I was doing some cactus flowers the other day. Look uh, how cool that it. is. Right? That is really cool. My daughter would love that. Yeah. So, um, but because I'm special and I've got crazy magic powers because I create so many things, I've been invited to play around in the Mid Journey Alpha page, Ooh. which is where everybody's going to go probably by the end of this year. They oh, don't have I'm a glad, date. I'm glad you're sharing that because if yeah, so there, yes, that's perfect. soon you won't be on Discord. You'll be doing Mid Journey on this site, and where I'm in right here is just the basic thing. Mm-hmm. And this is what's really great is on Discord, you know here you can see 
people and then they've got galleries set up like uh you know uh here you go show and tell right so they got oh, galleries okay. set up so you can see what people are doing and whatever on the new site it's just they show you stuff right so oh, these okay. are people these are things that other people generated they're all different there's you know looks like a book here there's a dog there's you know here's a watch people are designing all types of different things with different prompts and what's really cool is let's say you like this dog you can get the prompt i was just going to ask you that okay you can get the prompt it's right here so if you like what this looks like you can try it out but Remember, because Mid Journey starts off with random noise, okay, it will never repeat anything twice, right? You'll get something similar. It might look similar to this, right? It'll probably be really different, but it'll look similar. And and then you know that's just that's just the way it is, right? So each time it interprets something new from even those same prompts. It yeah, it never ever will repeat ever. Okay, so it, even if you upload a photograph, okay. uh, it won't make that photograph exactly like the photograph. It's going to change it completely because it's an image creator. What it's not is an image editor. So if you think you're going to upload a picture of you and you want the car to be blue, that's what Photoshop's for. Do that in Photoshop. Got it. If you wanted to create something completely different and brand new, this is a really great tool to use because it's a creation tool. And that's the, that's the thing that you should be thinking about. Okay. Totally makes sense. Like if, if you were a really good designer, that would probably take you, I mean, it would take me forever. I'd never get there, but it, it, it could, I could see somebody having two to three hours invested in that dog. Yeah. So here's what we're going to be doing today, Jay. So as part of our little project, we've got some other things set up and we're going to be creating a pattern that we're going to paste inside of a shape. Mm -hmm. So what we're looking for is a tropical pattern that we can use because that's kind of the vibe that, that let's say your client has asked for. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now I've created some stuff before. Here's actually, this is my arcade page, archive page. These are all the things that look, look, this is today. These are all the images. When I say I create a lot of stuff, these are all the images that I created today. Wow. These are yeah. all the images now, did that you I created them or did, or did Mid Journey create them? Well, I, that's a good question. So Mid Journey actually did the hard work, but I'm the one that told it what to do. Yeah. I'm guiding it. To me, I'm creating it. it you, it's semantics. No, I get whatever. it. I just, yeah, it makes sense. I think that's so cool. I'm looking. Yeah. So all of this away. is what oh. I did. I did all the, look at all these monkeys I was doing yesterday, right? This is all had, yesterday's work. You okay? had an issue with monkeys yesterday. Well, I was trying to do a something in particular. And here's what I'll tell you is mid journey is a genius four year old, Jay. Uh -huh. it, you've got kids. You've got yeah. like 50 kids, right? Remember exactly. back when they were four? A little bit. but Yeah. So imagine one's now. a genius level kid yeah, who four. can do amazing things. And I'm sure that's just like all your kids. Mm -hmm. But they didn't really understand. They didn't have the context of what you wanted. That's what mid journey is. It just doesn't understand. So if you're trying to get a particular thing, you might have to do different tries and different attempts and different words and you like. It. And it yeah, isn't the sure. first that attempt sense. that gets you there. Sometimes it's the, like the fiftieth. And there are power moves you can make, which I'm going to show that you can create a lot of things up front to get you there faster. So. What I want to do is I uh, we want to do a tropical uh, thing, and I, I've got a prompt that I want to use, so I'm just going to use that, right? And I'm cheating already because I know this is going to get a good result. And no, I want to show that's, you that's being efficient. Yeah, yeah. I want to show you some things. First off, um, before I, I start playing around, mid the new Mid Journey site has this great slider tool where you can change the aspect ratio. So if you want like a phone type looking thing or something that's more horizontal, you can change this. And this is the shape, mm -hmm. you know, I usually do squares because that's perfect for Instagram, you know, and then stylization is the amount of creativity that you're telling mid journey that you want. It starts off 
at zero. And that's kind of the raw command, meaning just exactly this, buddy, you know, and right. then you've got a thousand, which is go wild. go completely nuts, crazy. Okay. Yeah. Weirdness is exactly what it means. Like uh -huh. Welcome do, to the party. Yeah. If you do weirdness, you're going to get the, you're going to get the weird LSD trip, right? So, gonna, and that goes from zero <laughs> to 3000. How you're weird those monkeys on acid. That's what you're going to get. Yeah. How weird do you want it? And then variety is kind of the chaos, right? So and that's oh, okay. zero to a hundred, right? So these levels, I generally weirdness and variety at zeros, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know, super normal, I guess. And you can also play around with the version and uh, how fast you want it to work and all this stuff, right? We're not going to use these tools off the bat because we're going to be very hyper specific. Remember, Jay, I'm all about outcomes. Yep. So I want to change the aspect ratio, which is the shape. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to go three to two because we're going to be pasting this inside of a word. And I want the whole thing instead of a, you know, a yep. square, yep. you it. only get a tiny part in a horizontal thing. So I'm going to do a horizontal shape and that way I can use most of the image. Right. Perfect. I get it. And then I'm going to play with the whoop, not three, two, I'm going to play with the stylization. Remember, this is the creativity level. And then we're going to go 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. I just make sure my spelling and commas are correct because mid-journey is very particular. Now, what am I doing here? Okay. I'm giving mid-journey instructions that I want a tropical flower pattern that has a botanical realism, just like the thing you see there, right? Shadow pop art, it's a great prompt for that because it produces images kind of like these flowers here, right? I'm giving it some colors. I'm telling it I want bold colors. I'm telling it I want it as a rectangle. And then I want 11 different versions of this and each of those numbers going up in size means a different level of creativity where it can just go crazy, okay? Now, it's going to give me four images for each of these numbers. Four times 11 is 44. So when I hit go, which I just did, uh, uh, what happened here? It didn't like something. Oh, here, see? I didn't use the curly bracket on uh, both sides. Curly brackets. So remember, it's the syntax, right? So I hit go, right? We'll go to create. Get out of this. And uh, it's creating all of these images right now, okay? So we're going to be creating 44 different images at one time. And it's going to take uh, 30 seconds to a minute to create all of these images. Now, this is how I create on a normal basis. Here we go. Here they're starting to pop up, right? And then what we'll do is we're going to select one of these. And uh, normally I might re-roll it and upscale it and play around or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'll actually perfect the image here in mid-journey. But for the sake of time, we're not going to do that. We're just going to pick the one that we like the best and we're going to use it, okay? Perfect. So we're done. Wow. We just created 44 images. So let's look at them. The detail so is amazing. Gonna, I amazing. like that one a lot. What's and I'm going to upscale the ones that I kind of like. Okay, um, that's kind of cool. So look at these and just think about this. We remember we're trying to we're going to use it. We're going to paste it inside of something inside okay. of shapes. Yeah. yeah. So we're really looking for something that's got a kind of a horizontal look to it, or it's got a lot of little things in it. I kind of like that one. And um, remember, and so mid journey, when you do stuff like this, some of these images will be great. Some of these images will be mediocre. Some of them won't work at all. And, but if you're creating a lot of images up front, what happens is you can get to results that you can use way faster than if you tried to just create one image at a time. And so this is kind of power moves within mid journey. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, so is it, is it going the direction you're going now? Is it going toward 100 or toward a thousand? We're going toward uh, zero. 
Okay. okay. I, I was just going to guess that because it seems like they're getting flatter and they're, less... well, they're getting more like the prompt with less creativity. Yeah, exactly. And so here's my last one, right? Yeah, so I'm of using... that group, yeah. I picked two that I really liked and they're almost done rendering. So what I did is I used an upscale uh, command. So mid journey by default gives you a 72 DPI by 10, a 10, 72 by 10, excuse me, 10, 24 by 10, 24, if it was square, right? These are rectangles. So I don't know what the pixel ratio is on a rectangle, but it's, it's, it's an okay image, but we really want to upscale it to use it. Okay. Right. So 100%. when you upscale it, it immediately gives you a larger image that you can use and resample. So you can make it a 300 DPI file that we can use for printing. Okay. So this was definitely a bitmap file at this point. Well, it's not going to be super bitmap, but it's going to be, it's not going to be as perfect as it is right now. So right, this but meaning is a, it's, a it's a raster image. It's not a It's a file. raster image. This is okay. going to be a 72 DPI file. I'm going to bring this into another, uh, another program and you'll see really how big it is. So okay, got it. what I do here is, so this is a download button. I'm going to download this. And when I download stuff, everything always goes into my, this is shareable images is my mid journey folder where it all goes right now. We're going to go to uh, affinity photo. This is the program I use uh, for creating most of the images I have. I still use Photoshop and stuff. If I was doing some simulated process steps, I like affinity photo because it works faster. So um, anyway, let's bring up the, the uh, file we just created. Here it is. And you can see it's it's a 9.1 meg file right now. Okay. And let's go to resize image and I'll show you how big it is, right? So it's 72 DPI. Here's the pixels. Let's change it to inches so you can just see. Oh, yeah. it's so this is 30. 72 DPI by 37.33 image inches wide. It's huge. This is a big file. Yeah. If we resample this to 300. And we're going to, uh, we got it in inches and let's just make it 10 inches, right? Right. This is a 10 inch wide file at 300 DPI right now. Perfect. Okay. It's great. So we're going to, we're going to save it. We're going to uh, select copy. And then what we're going to do is we've already got these two files set hey, up. Hey, look at you. Look at that. I love it. Okay. Yeah. I'm efficient. So. Uh, let me just zero in and we'll show you what we're doing. So I've already created and pasted in some images. So this is a Digicamo file and this is a tropical file. Okay. And then this is the file we're going to use with our thing right now. Right. We did the same thing here with these circle shapes. Right. We pasted the different yep. background textures in uh, and let's just review real quick. Yeah, and for those who may not know, that's part of our gear and part of the ink droplet in our logo for Equipment Zone. So we got a digit camo, we got this little tropical flower, we got dragon scales, we got a burlap bag, we got a kind of a rocky look, a coral reef, a butterfly wing, uh, some engraved leather, bathroom tile, a fractal, some concrete, uh, a camouflage made of Legos, uh -huh. a uh, kind of a rainbow kind of texture with some paint, uh, a leopard skin fur pattern and some mahogany wood, wood right? Tree. Yeah. So cool. what we're going to do is we're going to, let's go over the words first. We're going to paste that in and let's arrange it. We'll send it to back, right? And then um, I'm going to make it the width to the deal, right? right. And then I can just go, uh, I'm going to, yeah. You're looking for the sweet spot where we're looking for the sweet spot where it looks the best. And maybe it's with all of the flowers. So we get like two rows in somehow like that. Right. Let's so go we're going to copy and delete and we just select this and go up here to paste inside and bam, there it is. Right. Love it. So in this kind of thing, I can still move this around. So Putting here is okay, but I think I like this kind of better, right? Maybe if we make it just slightly larger. Yeah, if you get the centers right. of those flowers, it looks super cool. There you go. All right. So let's do the same thing over here. We're gonna we're gonna paste it and then we'll make it a little smaller. 
and then we'll send it to back. And of course, I know the keyboard commands, but uh, what I'm doing is I'm just showing you what I'm doing in case you want to follow along at home. And I'm going to copy, I'm going to delete. I'm going to select the, the shape. I paste inside. And normally when I'm working, I don't, I don't use my mouse. I just use keyboard commands because it's faster. Sure. And let's see if we can get all four flowers in there and we'll size it. There we go. Right now, we're all ready to print. So I'm gonna I'm gonna flatten this and I'm gonna send this to you and you yes. can print it yes. on uh DTG and your DTF and, printer. Yeah, we'll do right? it on both. Yes, both. Yeah, so we can make individual DT uh files, right? You can see how this is gonna look, how it's gonna work. Uh it's gonna really pop the color, it's gonna look really great. Um, let's go ahead and just zero in real quick. Wow, look at so this. You can detail. see That's so, so impressive. The reason why this is a great tool for you uh, to in your shop, right, is because your clients have a logo that you can make white. You could paste a um, a texture or a pattern or something inside of some shape. It doesn't have to be a circle. It could be a rectangle or a square or a diamond sure. or a star or whatever. Right. It could be in their logo. Nike does it all the time. Put stuff yep. in the swoosh, yep. right? Absolutely. We could have done the reverse and had it inside the gear and inside the ink drop. Exactly. Right. So so this is an easy way for you to give a lot of differentiation with your client's logos and do something cool because maybe they're having a Hawaiian luau or maybe they're having something for Memorial Day or maybe they're doing something for the parents or for you know uh, the Pride Festival or, or whatever. You can design things and it isn't a whole lot of work. You saw how long this took to do. Oh, and you were in teacher mode. So I know it would have been a lot shorter had you not been showing me every step of the way. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you get a hang on this, okay, your art staff can be creating variations on stuff in a matter of minutes instead of like if I was to spend time painting, digitally painting these flowers, that's hours of work, man. Okay. Who's got time for that? And I know your person went to design school and they don't want to do it and they're resistant and all that stuff. I've heard all those excuses before at the end of the day, we can create some amazing art. We can send it to the client and we only spend 15 minutes on it. How many more projects can your art team or your web designer or whoever work on a day when they're not trying to figure out the concept? We can just put words into mid journey and we get back a result and then we can use it. Yeah. It's electrifying. It's a game changer. I mean, my, I almost don't know what to say. I can't wait to print these. That's really the next phase is we're going to take, you're going to send me these digital files and I'm going to go right back over to these two printers. We've got the Epson F2270 DTG and DTF printer. It's a hybrid printer right there. And then we've also got our EasyJet Pro 24. It's a, it's a complete DTF roll fed system. And we're going to do it on both so we can see what those exact files uh, print like. And then I'm going to come back on because of the magic of, technology and show everybody <laughs> what these look like i can't wait and we're going to heat press yeah. them and i'll put something on a sleeve and i'll maybe do something like a neck label and then just print those easy for me right here i'll just do all three um
I love it. I, I can see how this would be a, a, a true game changer. I'm excited. Right, right. Well, if you need uh, anybody out there that needs help using MidJourney, um, I have a newsletter, okay? It, uh, it's called uh, the MidJourney Elevating Print Creativity Newsletter. You can go to midjourneyexperience.com. If you haven't used MidJourney before, you can sign up and you can get uh, one free edition that shows you how to hook it all up. You can decide if you like the content and then subscribe. Uh, subscriptions are real easy. It's 12 bucks a month or hundred dollars a year. And it publishes every single week with tons of articles, inspiration, lots of learning. I do lots of videos. There's a lots of stuff in there every week about how to use mid journey as a professional creative. Right. Yeah. And awesome. so if this is, this is the tool I've made just for somebody out there to learn. That's so great. Thank you, Marshall, for sharing. Um, I'll be sure to put all of that information into the details of, of the YouTube page. We will be posting this on YouTube. So people are going to want to watch and go back. Um, and then also subscribe to Marshall's newsletter. I did. It, 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 it's it's worth the 12 bucks. I can tell you that. I'm, I'm a year behind. I feel like I'm never going to catch up to you. And it's okay if I don't. But I can't wait because I think exploring through this is really going to be not just a game changer for the art department or for the web designers. But I can see how this would be, an, there would be a big ROI on this. Using this tool is going to be, you're going to be more efficient. And I think you could land more jobs and you could get more business through the funnel faster. Yep. So yep. Can't, yep. can't wait. Okay, All well, right. next well, time. Hey, thanks, thanks Marshall. For having I'm going to let Jay. you go. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for joining us. All right. Thanks, buddy. All right. Take care. Thanks, Marshall.